In this video we are going to make a ruffle dress for an 18 inch doll that fits my Amelie pattern and also American Girl, Our Generation, etc. Materials needed are listed here but you can find them in the pattern as well. Take your bias tape and ruffles and sew the bias tape to the bottom edges of the ruffles. Sew in the fold of the bias tape. You can also hem the ruffles by folding the bottom edge over twice and sewing it in place. Trim the bottom edge of the ruffle and bias tape if necessary. That just makes it a little bit easier to fold over the bias tape to the back later on. Fold the bias tape over to the back and pin it in place. Sew along the bottom edge of the ruffle slightly above the bias tape, making sure that you catch the bias tape on the left side of the fabric as well. Gather the top of the ruffles next. I am doing this on my serger, but you can do this on your sewing machine as well. A tutorial for this is linked in the video description. Fold the ruffle tiers in half and close the side seams. Pull the ruffles to the length of the tiers, fold them and close the side seams.
Turn one of the tiers right sides out and pin it inside one of the ruffles. That'll be our first bottom ruffle here. So around the top edge. If you like, top stitch along the seam you just sewed. This is where we just top stitched. Put the second ruffle over the bottom tier. Make sure the back seams all line up. And pin the top tier to it so that the right sides of the top tier and the right side of the middle ruffle are facing each other. Now three layers of fabric will be pinned together, the bottom tier, the middle ruffle and the top tier. And now we're going to sew all the way around here. Sew along the top edge, sewing all three layers together.
You can top stitch along this seam as well. So we just top stitched and now pin the top ruffle to the top tier and base along the top edge. And I'm making sure that the back seams are aligning here as well. I'm going to base along the top edge here so that the fabrics don't go anywhere and it's all nice in place for when I assemble the whole dress later on. Now the skirt part of the dress is complete. Next we assemble the bodice. Put the back pieces on the front piece right sides facing and sew them together along the shoulder edges. If you like, you can sew the velcro to the main and lining fabric now. You can also do this at the end when the bodice is assembled. Pin the two bodice pieces right sides together and sew along the back and neck as well as the arm openings.
Clip the corners and curves. Turn the bodice inside out. Next we will close the side seams under the arm openings. Pin the side seams and sew them in place. Base along the bottom edge of the bodice next to make sure that the fabric won't slip when we assemble the dress. Make sure that the front and back overlap by half an inch. I like to base along the bottom in the back again to make sure everything stays in place. Just double checking here with the ruler and basting it in place. Pin the bodice inside the skirt part of the dress right sides facing and sew them together along the top edge. Now I'm just weaving the end of the thread back into the seam here. I 
and then we're done now we just sewed all the way around here and we can turn the fabrics inside out and can have a look at our dress I did try to top stitch the last seam here but it just didn't work so I won't recommend it <laughs> and then the little dress is ready in the next video we're going to sew the bolero and that video is linked down below in the playlist as well and I hope I see you in that video again Thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked the video and it was useful to you. Please give it a like if you like, subscribe for more videos, leave a comment with feedback and video requests. And if you like, head on over to Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. I'd love to connect with you over there. See you next time. Bye.